and welcome to Season 5, Episode 5 of Non-League to Legend. I'm Kev, and coming up on today's episode, I've got a live com game of the home match against Blackpool in League 2, um, and we're up into the playoff positions again. Let's have a look to see how we got there. Um, so, last time you were with me, we had the 3-0 home win against Barnett. Jack Stacey with two goals, Lee Novak with another. It was inside forwards being awesome, and I got really excited and enjoyed myself. Um, it got even better in the next game. Yeah, we were only playing against Kidderminster. Yeah, it was only the FA Cup. Um, but we went away. We won 4-1. Um, okay, three of our goals came after Declan McManus came off the bench in the 70th minute and got a hat-trick. Um, but either way, we won 4-1 away from home. We're actually starting to score goals and being an exciting attacking team, which is exactly where I've wanted to be throughout five seasons of non-league to legend. And we're finally getting there. Um, we then beat Cambridge 3-0 at home. A Jack Stacey hat-trick in this game. This lad is awesome. Um, I want to sign him. Um, unfortunately, Reading have got no intention of selling him, um, but I am doing my very best to try and get him on loan for the rest of the season. His loan is actually up um, in a couple of weeks' time, along with Johnson Clark Harris. Um, both of them, their loans expire mid-December, mid so panicking, trying to get those loans renewed at the moment. Um, next game took me down a peg or two. Um, we went away to Grimsby. We lost 1-0. Um, it wasn't a particularly good performance. Um, yeah, we'll move on from that one fairly quickly. Uh, but then we beat MK Dons 2-1 at home. Um, we have two goals from Johnson Clark Harris. Again, if you look back through those games where we've been playing really, really well, if you take Stacey and Clark Harris out of it, um, we didn't really score any goals at all. So if those two do leave in a couple of weeks, we're kind of back to square zero. Um, Jack Stacey was obviously named the League 2 Player of the Month for November. He got five goals in four games with an average rating of 8.23. That'll do. Um, I can I can probably live with that. And he's acknowledged the Exeter effect. He's loving playing for the club. So hopefully um, that's going to encourage him to stay on loan for the rest of the season. He's actually our top scorer now with eight goals. He's only been on loan here just over two months. Um, so fantastic achievement. He's really hit the ground running and has made this 4-2-3-1 system really work for us. Um, he's also 23 years old. So I am hoping that Reading might decide to just let him go in the summer and we can perhaps bring him in on a free transfer in the summer. Um, I got second in manager of the month as well for dragging us back up the league table. Uh, beaten by the Hartlepool manager, um, even though we had the same win ratio. But, you know, I'm not, not bitter. Um, and the board are now pleased with me again. Uh, they're particularly pleased with Jack Stacey coming in, obviously. They're not that impressed with the signing of Adam Chapman. I mean, really, he's come in to be a midfielder in a, in a midfield four, and we're now playing a midfield two. So he's been one of the victims of that, unfortunately. Um, but he's coming off the bench and not looking too bad when he comes on. So I don't think he's a, he's a write-off like some of our summer signings. <clears throat> Tom Young's <clears throat> um, were, yeah quarter of a million pounds for him. Um, Carlisle have offered me another job interview. They offered me a job interview in the summer and I turned them down. That was when they were getting relegated from uh, League One um, and I didn't want to go to them because they were in the same division. They're now 22nd in League Two, have sacked the manager who came in instead of me and have offered me an interview again. Um, Carlisle, get the message. You're the furthest club away from Exeter in the country and you're about to fall out of the Football League when we're about to push into the playoffs. Not interested. Um, that's how the league table stands at the moment. Um, so we're approaching the halfway point of the season and we're roughly where we're supposed to be. Um, we've closed that gap um, between ourselves and the top six um, to just two points now. And we're only five points away from Northampton in third place. And to, in fact, we're only seven points off the top of the league. If we can have a good December and if we can keep hold of Jack Stacey and Johnson Clark Harris, automatic promotion might be on. So this is the team we're playing to go today at home to Blackpool. Um, it's probably the same team I played in the last two live comms, maybe. This is comfortably our settled first choice starting eleven. We are being quite lucky at the moment without because we're not picking up injuries to these players. Um, and the, I mean, this is this is a good team. I'm really happy with this set of players. Jack Stacey obviously is the inside forward on the right. It's a massive threat. Lee Novak's got seven or eight goals this season as well. Johnson Clark Harris is leading the line really well, and Daniel Trickett Smith is just pulling the strings and giving these three guys the ball. And with the fullbacks pushing on, oh, it's a, it's a good system and it's working really well. And mustn't forget Owen Garvin and Marlon Pack in central midfield and the massive contribution the two of them are making to the success that we're experiencing at the moment. Um, 
I'm kind of giving up on team talks at the moment. Um, so we're going to let the assistant manager do him. If, if it looks like he's going to make a massive mistake, I take over and step in. But most of the time, I'm just following what he says anyway. And for whatever reason, he seems to do it more effectively than I do. I'm clearly just the, the guy with the clipboard who picks the team. He's the, he's the motivator who the players like. Um, why haven't we scored a goal yet? We're eight minutes into the match. This isn't part of the plan. We had a great live com in the last game. I want another really, really good live com. I think it's probably the first time in the history of non-league to legend that I've had an unchanged team from live com to live com. And hopefully we can have a similar outstanding performance. I mean, we're 25 minutes into the game. and We've had 65% possession. It's, I like this system. It works really well. We've had Worryingly, we've had six shots and not one of them's on target yet, half an hour in. So that's a bit of a concern. We need to... We need to create a good chance. Nine shots now. I, I worry that we might just be hurling the ball in from long range. Um, and that's why, you know, ten shots, none on target. Um, oddly, seven of the, only seven off, t how does that work? We've had ten shots, none on target, seven off target. Where did the other three go? Did they not even make it to the goal? Does that mean they were intercepted on the way, maybe? Um, so, yeah, offer a bit of encouragement. We are firmly in control. I agree with you, Rob Edwards. Um... But we haven't had a highlight in that half, which is a bit of a worry. Um, and now Blackpool have got the ball to kick things off. Hopefully this is just the kickoff highlight. Or we're going to nick the ball and go and score a goal. But no, they uh, rather skillfully put the ball out for a throw on. And hopefully this isn't going to be another half of us dominating possession, but not actually having a shot on target or doing anything worthy of a highlight. And here we have a highlight. Johnson Clark Harris finds Tilney. Tilney finds Novak. Novak, oh, hits the sort of frame of the crossbar and post there um that was a good shot but it was did that count as on target i wouldn't say that was on target but we have now had a shot on target but worryingly um there's 25 minutes left and we still have only had that one real opportunity and we haven't scored a goal yet um right we need to make some changes and the two men i've massively bigged up before the match are being the two poor performers really um, so I think we're going to take off Jack Stacey and Johnson Clark Harris. Let's have a sample of what life will be like if they do have to go back. Um, so we're going to bring McManus and Abika on. McManus obviously scored a hat-trick fairly recently. Um, on the downside, when he wasn't playing about six weeks ago, I've already agreed to sell him to Rochdale. So if he does come in and be awesome, we've already sold him. He's going in January. So he's in his final month for the club anyway. We're not going to score a goal in this match, are we? This is disappointing and ridiculous. Let's bring Sam Foley on for Marlon Pack. Stick Garvin is a deep-lying playmaker. Foley is box-to-box. -box. I mean, I can't be unhappy with the performance as a whole. We've dominated possession. We've had a lot of shots. But, I don't know, perhaps we need to... Perhaps it's time to turn on work ball into the box and actually get ourselves into better potential goal scoring opportunities before we're just whacking shots in from long range because that's going to be a lot that's going to be a nil nil we've had 15 shots and dominated possession and that's it nil nil hmm let me know in the comments what you think we should do about that is it something i should be worried about or bearing in mind how many goals we've scored recently is it just one of those blips that you get from time to time um we'll have a quick look at the league table um just to see where things are so there we go um that's actually caused us to fall out of the playoffs at the moment but we've actually closed the gap on top of the league so from my point of view i'm more concerned 20 games into the season we're trying to win the league still or at least trying to get automatic promotion so yeah we've dropped a place we've fallen out of the playoffs but we're that little bit closer to automatic promotion so i can live with that um, if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you pop a like on there for me and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all the uh, future content that we've got coming up. And thanks very much for watching.